That's what we need to know about the transition of the back, of box top from cutting them out to electronically turning them in? Absolutely, Jayla. So box tops has made a big switch. So instead of having to save all of that cardboard and cut it out and cut along the dotted line, they've made it much simpler. If your parents can go to their phone, there's an app they can download, um, just as box tops for education. And then with that app, there is a little scan button and every time there's a receipt, you basically are just taking a picture of your receipt and it will automatically take any items where box tops are eligible and include that at, for our school. And you can even tag a teacher, so when we have those competitions, like if you had box tops and you wanted it to go to your classroom, then your mom or dad could tag that teacher and they would get the credit. And there's also another option. We have a couple of parents who are running this and they even, if you didn't want to scan, they have a little box that you will find by the front entrance and you can turn your receipts in there and they will scan them for you if you did not want to get the app or do that yourself. So it's really simple. It adds up. We've already made a thousand, over a thousand dollars. So it's just an easy way to keep earning money for the school. Thank you so much for sharing with us. You're welcome. When taking your books home from school, try to put your books in a plastic bag and then into your backpack. Ask your parents for one when you get home. This will help keep the books safe and dry from anything that is in your backpack. I know the librarians will appreciate the help in caring for the library books. Make sure that your bag doesn't have any holes in it. I hope all students remember that we will have winter break starting on Monday, December 23rd. No school. Yes, but also remember we return to school in the new year 2020 on Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. We hope everyone has a safe and enjoyable break. Why are you ringing that bell? This year, Student Council will be doing bell ringing at Festival of Foods in Deep Pier to raise money for the Salvation Army. Oh yeah, the Salvation Army is a great cause. We'll be at Festival of Foods on December 12th from 5 to 7 p.m. Stop on by! Report cards go home on December 10th this year. Parents will receive an email link to access the report card. Be sure to read the comments to find out what you are doing great at and then an area to set a goal on or work towards. Make sure to have a growth mindset and remember that it is okay to have goals and with practice and hard work, something you don't have yet will come. I'm so excited. It's finally December. I love when it starts to snow so we can play outside building forts and snowmen. Me too. I'm also excited because I love our December PBIS reward. Do you remember what it is? Yes. If we earn our recognition this month, we will get to wear pajamas to school and watch a movie. That's right. I really hope we can all be respectful, responsible, safe, and problem solvers this month. I can't wait to hopefully have pajama and movie day. Do you know how to spell excited? E-X-C-I-T-E-D. Why do you ask? Because all the 3rd, 4th, and 5th graders are participating in the annual Scripps National Spelling Bee. Three students from each class will be qualifying for their grade level spelling bee to be held on Friday, December 13th. Two winners from each grade level will then move on to the district level spelling bee in January. We all better start practicing. Maybe I could be one of the students to represent Hemlock Creek in January. G O O D. L U C K to all the third, fourth, and fifth graders. Did you know our Co Week is December 9th to the 15th? It is our Co. Our Co is an event where people from all over the world spend one hour learning how to program or code a computer, app, or other device. Coding is a language that computers use. There are tons of coding games to try, like Minecraft, Star Wars, and Frozen. I can't wait to try this. When I grow up, I want to create video games or make apps, so I can't wait to learn more about coding. It's that time of year again. Time of the year? Time of the year for what? The holiday concerts are coming up. Students have been working really hard preparing for this big event. Oh yeah, that's right. Students in kindergarten through fifth grade are planning performances for family and friends. It's such a special way to celebrate the holidays. Students, please remind your parents to read the school's newsletter to find out more information about your concert, including the date and time. Good luck, performers. Break a leg.